Hey guys, Kenny with Wiggly Tent. I'm out again today in the woods um, scouting for locations and trying out gear. Now I brought the Poly Spread bag again and I'm going to give you a quick review on it. I told you how to review this bag in my video where I reviewed all my stoves. So if you haven't watched that, go back and check that one out. But anyway, I want to scout out some locations and uh, have a cup of coffee and, and, show you the, and show you the Poly Spread bag. So stick with me. So if you're looking for a haversack, you want something inexpensive. And uh, I'd say one of the things I like best about this is the fact that I don't care to cut and sew on it. I'm gonna put a patch on it. I'm gonna change the, make the strap adjustable because it is not adjustable. But it's got this, it's not really molly webbing. It's just got some extra webbing on the back and underneath where, you, well, it ties in underneath so you can add um, a poncho or a tarp underneath, or I carry my tripod, my little uh, tripod underneath here when I'm not using it. Very handy. Again, very inexpensive, very durable. Maybe that heavy canvas. Uh, very simple, very basic design. It does have a grab handle on the back. But let's open it up and take a look inside. And this has the uh, has two different buckles here, and all you do to secure it is run it through here like this. So you run it through both of them. You lift this piece up, and then run it back through. It's a lot like a motorcycle helmet. That's the way I, I look at it. Same thing here. Now let's take a look inside. Here is a tag of authenticity. You can tell uh, it's written in an, a different language than English. And here is inside. You've got one, two, three, four pockets on the inside. And on these, I just carry my eye drops, my Carmex. I don't have anything in this one. And this side, I've got uh, magnesium dust I'm going to try. And it, it's able to carry my heavy cover gear my coffee. You now I've got my gloves in there, spoon, and then I've got other stuff in here. My cook's uh, Oppenau saw and my Gerber. So as you can see it's very very spacious, very roomy, tons of room. Oh my coffee, and my coffee. And it has an additional strap on the outside that you can uh, run through this buckle and secure it even more to keep it from, from coming out. But as you can see, there is tons of room. So if you're looking for an inexpensive haversack or a day pack, this is a really good option. <clears throat> I found myself using this um, a lot more for when I have an opportunity to go in the woods just for a couple of hours and I don't want to pack a, a heavy pack or whatever, I just grab this and go. This is almost like my to-go bag or my need out bag. Um, when I'm ready to go hiking, I grab this, throw stuff in it, I'm out. I'm gone. Real simple. So I hope this was, hope this was helpful. Oh yeah, I forgot the pockets on the outside. So let me show you the pockets on the outside. These two little pockets here, I keep my little emergency flashlight. I think it's 100 lumens. That's the uh, through night that I got in the um, the gear swap that I did with a bunch of other channels. That was fun. And this is my barrel ferro rod that my uncle made me. We're gonna try it out in another video. So thanks for joining me on another quick gear review of the haversack here, this uh, Polish bread bag. Hope you enjoyed it. And a special thanks to my affiliate Five Call Survival Supply. And I hope you'll join me again on another video.